we're driving another BMW and it's super gorgeous. It's beautiful. I love the interior. I know. I'm feel, I think you're dressed to match it beautifully. Oh, I did just I'm feeling the autumnal colors. So we're in Turin. I'm so excited to be here. I love that this was sort of like the first capital of unified Italy. And it's also where Nutella was invented. And of Nutella. course, where the architect, ski jumper, photographer, Carlo Molina, he was from here. I mean, the Fondaziani we're going to visit, uh -huh. the Sandretto Ray Ray Bandengo, is part of a whole wave of what's making Turin one of the most interesting contemporary art capitals in Italy at the moment. And the current show at the moment is getting three curators, which include Mark Rappolt, the editor of Art Review, uh -huh. and a great New York-based artist who's British, Liam Gillick. I love him. And they've gone through the collection and put together a show that's actually in response to Guy Debord and ah. films that Guy Debord made towards the end of his life oh. in the 70s. So taking a collection and using that and rethinking how you can present it in a fresh, oh, I can't temporary wait to see way. It. I started collecting in 1992. And at the beginning, the collection was divided by themes, by strands. And now the collection, it's a collection of artists from all over the world. I'm not interested in buying name, but I'm really interested in buying works. I think I can see a Barbara Kruger. Yeah. It's amazing that you can rework the same approach, which is text on a black and white found photograph, and make it interesting and political and relevant every time. And it's kind of, what's so amazing is it's feminist, but it doesn't feel dated. So this is Hans-Peter Feldman, the day after September 11th, and his work is all about this kind of sense of repetition, the manipulation of photographic imagery. It's also really interesting seeing way. how like some of the images were reused around the world in different uh -huh, ways. And what, what was chosen from where. Yeah. And also, if you don't come from an art background at all, you're still going to have an emotional reaction to this imagery. Absolutely. I mean, it's a perfect connection to Guy Debord and situationism uh -huh. and how to look at a collection in a fresh way and reinvent it through temporary shows. Yeah. So this is a whole room devoted to Russian-American-based artist called Sanya Kantorovsky. Mm -hmm. It's called The Letdown, and he was really interested in this idea of these Russian council blocks that were uh, all put up. Okay. And in a way, there's a lot about the failure of the Soviet concept, the failure to be an individual within that. I really like this one with the little boy looking at a pile of many skulls. I kind of love that kind of sweetness, tenderness, and then watching death. And you don't see the skulls until you're close. No, close I, didn't, to the I didn't notice that until we got either. here. Me neither. I kind of want to give him a cuddle. What a great collection. So interesting, so well created. I absolutely loved it. I think Patrizzi has got an amazing approach to sharing contemporary art with as wide an audience as possible, really supporting new initiatives. The, the word edgy is a perfect description because it's, it crosses so many mediums that you can't really see what her actual aesthetic eye is. But yes, I mean, for me, I'm having Hans-Peter Feldman, Guy Debord and Thomas Hirschhorn with Barbara Kruger all in one place is amazing. Yeah. And I've loved your company which has been an utter joy. Oh my gosh. Hanging out Likewise. With you and doing our trips around the world has been total Just pleasure. Just divine. <laughs> and I'm going to miss <laughs> this car. I know, this and car is so beautiful. Toasty warm seats. <laughs>